Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again with another reaction for you guys. Today guys, of course, we are starting Loki, the brand new Disney Plus show, of course, from Marvel Studios. Been highly anticipated, been waiting for this. I've been really excited for the show for quite some time when we heard the concept of the show, where this version of Loki came from, because it's not the Loki we've been following all these years. It's the Loki from Endgame when they went back 2012, and then he got the cube, and then... Whoop, disappeared and we we're like what the hell and then the, the, the movie just kept going but now we know this is the loki we're following within this show and just the trailers and everything and all this i've been hearing about what's in it and then them debunking rumors and all that kind of stuff because of course there's always rumors surrounding all these different types of shows but at the end of the day the hype is real people are excited for this show people have already seen it early saying it's it's really really good so i'm excited to get into now guys i'm really excited for this show and kevin feige of course who runs marvel studios said this show out of the three so far that have aired from marvel studios on disney plus wandavision Falcon winter soldier now loki loki is gonna be the most impactful moving forward in terms of the mcu and everything so that's pretty exciting so that for the two guys but i can't talk about that. <laughs> let's get into now guys shut up computer shut up computer it is too early in the fucking morning i gotta get into this shit right now episode one glorious purpose I like that title so let's get into now guys and see what it's all about i'm ready i'm i'm excited let's go okay I love that green to this to the logo. That's pretty good. I am Loki. Of Asgard. Hi. I am burdened with glorious purpose. I can do. Glorious purpose. Title. Yes, it is me. I beg your pardon. On behalf of the Time Variant Authority, I hereby arrest you for crimes against the sacred timeline. Mm. Hands up. Right away. I was confused for a second. Holy crap. <laughs> what? Hi. <laughs> Absolutely not. I remember this. This little clip. Oh my gosh. Thank you for your confirmation. <laughs> He's like, this is interesting. This is a mistake. I shouldn't be here. Wow. Okay. So this is going to be unwinded and cause all the multiverse and madness and all that stuff. Hmm. He never take it. He just gets incinerated. <laughs> Jesus. Whoa. Well, uh, hmm. This has been a very enjoyable time. You see, I only came in to possess the Tesseract the day travel was defined. No doubt the last ditch effort to stave off my ascent into God King. That's quite an accusation. We're not here to talk about the Avengers. Oh, no? No. No? What they did was supposed to happen. You escaped. Oh, okay. No, he thought something was good. <laughs> I could have burnt this place to the ground. I'm sure you were my guest if you could go there. <laughs> you could start there. Wow, look outside there. That's really cool. Place for night threatening. Call me old partner. Now that department I'll help you burn down. 
Okay, I'm curious what what is that department? Hmm. Oh. Well, take over everything. Mm. He's not mocking me. Oh, wait, maybe a little. Mm. And we'll see them. <laughs> Yeah. Look at that smile. You are enjoying that. Get better at Thank you. All that money. It's real, apparently. I was wondering if they're going to show. Don't go anywhere. He's not going to stay still. Come on. <laughs> Where's he at? Whoa. He's watching the MCU right now. He's watching the movies. Mmm. I was wondering he was going to get to this. His death. That's your end, man. That's your end game. He's having way too much fun with that. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, several times. Even an infinity stone is indeed useless here. Carry on where I'm taken. You. What? Who's talking? Someone down there. Is that the other Logie? Well, there you guys have it. The first episode of Loki. Wow. Okay. There's a lot of things to talk about with this first episode of this show. So they didn't waste any time highlighting and showing just in case, because there's probably people who were checking out this show who weren't aware. This is the Loki from Avengers Endgame. They took the test rack, all that kind of stuff. So they showed that they highlighted it just in case you don't know it or you forgot the information. Because back when they announced this in 2019 at San Diego Comic-Con, they made sure to show that footage and talk about it when they were talking about that particular show during the Phase 4 announcement. So here we are, the first episode, the TVA, and this whole idea of Loki, like, basically not even being actually Loki in a sense, because he's a time variant. Like, it's, it's kind of crazy. Like, it's Loki from the events of uh, the first Avengers film, out of place in the timeline, but then... He goes and sits in a room with Agent Mobius. I think it's, I think it's Agent Mobius. Um, yeah, but anyways, uh, Owen Wilson, I think he did... R r I, like, I like his character. I'm curious to see um, where that character is going to go. Uh, just, I think it's interesting how he was approaching Loki and everything. But it was interesting that they go into a room, and I think we saw this in some of the trailers, um, going through 
some of the stuff in the timeline. And interestingly enough, the D.B. Cooper thing, which was highlighted in some trailers or whatever, actually didn't happen within the TVA doing different stuff. That was actually Loki pretending to be like this character taking all this money playing D.B. Cooper within the timeline leading up to when we actually see him within the MCU. So that was very interesting. I wasn't expecting that. But then we go through after what was supposed to happen, then where he creates the new timeline, he splits off and <clears throat> takes the test wreck. Excuse me. It's early in the fucking morning, like I mentioned in the intro. Early in the morning. So he sees his mother's death, and then he sees his own. And I think that compounding with when he gets to the guy Casey I think his name was who took the tesseract cuz they were it was given to him saying take this into evidence or whatever he had this on him and then he opens and takes the tesseract and then sees all these other infinity stones like a lot of them and they have no use in the TVA they're not they they don't help him or do anything so he's like what because he's heard of all these Infinity Stones, and there are just like a bunch of them, and there's others that are out there people are using as paperweights. That shows how meaningless they are to this organization, the TVA, this whole idea of these Infinity Stones meaning so much to us or within the terms of the context of the MCU and what we've grown to understand over the years in terms of in the comics and in the films, what the Infinity Stones can and cannot do. Here in the TVA, there's way more than they're supposed to, and they're meaningless. I think this is very interesting to show that as the first step of Loki going, maybe something's truly up here, because up to this point, he was completely acting like this was nothing. And this was just a footnote, as he says, into his path to becoming king, to rule, and all this stuff. Um, I thought it was interesting that he was just going through the timeline of his file, essentially, watching that footage and seeing up to the point, because I was thinking, are they only going to be covering up to the point of when he split off the timeline? No, because they show everything else. I was like, okay, maybe we are going to see past the point, because if they're the timekeepers of the timeline, maybe Mobius is going to show Loki, this is what happens after, and he does. Like when cause you were supposed to go here, here is what was supposed to happen. And this is exactly what, and I'm glad that they went that direction with actually showing him what was supposed to happen instead of what he actually did. Um, and he sees Thanos kill him. So he knows how he ends, but then they drop this twist that I wasn't expecting the person they have. They're trying to track down that Mobius is trying to talk to Loki with and helping them is the variant they're after is actually another Loki. So I'm curious how that is going to be explained because, like, okay, so how did this other Loki get displaced in the timeline? How are they going to explain that? And how are they going to show the, the differences of the Loki that we're trying to find and capture versus the Loki? Like, is it going to look different? I'm not really sure, but I thought that was quite interesting. I wasn't expecting that because when they show Mobius and those other um, TVA agents in the 1500s and they're examining a, a, a crime scene, essentially, and this little boy and he's pointing to a mural like on the glass of the devil or something. I'm like, what the hell's going on here? And apparently that's the killer. Okay. So I don't know. I, I'm guessing that, I guessing that boy views the variant Loki as the devil. I'm not really sure. That's very interesting. It's very interesting. I, I like the setup and I think there's so much left to explore with the TVA, but I like how this was a introduction to the TVA in terms of, Loki being there, treating it as a joke, but ultimately realizing that they've been around all this time and he starts to realize that maybe there's something up to this because he thought it was all an illusion. It wasn't real. Well, no, it actually apparently is very real because they have your file, Loki. They have exactly what's supposed to happen with you in the timeline and explaining that the Avengers traveled through time in the events of Endgame and Loki brought that up in his court hearing. <laughs> And they said, no, that was supposed to happen. That's exactly what was supposed to happen. So when Doctor Strange saw the only outcome of the events of Infinity War and Endgame where everything ends up being as fine as they can in terms of correcting the timeline, the TVA had that exact timeline in place 
And so the one thing, the outcome of where they won was was supposed to happen in terms of the TVA. So him bringing up the Avengers, the only reason why I'm in this in this instance is because they traveled through time first. And that's how I got the Tesseract when I did, when I wasn't supposed to. But apparently he wasn't supposed to take the Tesseract. Apparently that's the displace in the timeline. He's the time variant now because he wasn't supposed to take. But it's like one of those things where how do you know what is and isn't supposed to happen in terms of the timeline? Because in the instance of Loki, he takes the Tesseract, but he wasn't supposed to. It creates an alternate timeline. And they were mentioning multiverse, which I think that's going to lead into the multiverse of madness and Spider-Man No Way Home. Of course, Doctor Strange, the multiverse of madness. Be my point. So I think that's what's going to lead all into that. And then, but, but then saying the Avengers, that was supposed to happen. Because I guess the Avengers didn't alter the timeline too much. Because then they, because eventually Steve, Captain America takes all the time, like all the different time zones, time zones the different Infinity Stones, and places them back in the timeline so it fixes the multiverse issue. So I'm guessing the TVA has it all on file. This is supposed to happen in terms of the events of the MCU, essentially the, the events of earth and that this is going to end up happening. Like they take the infinity stones, but they place them back. So I guess it all works out. So I'm curious because we only have six episodes. I'm curious how they're going to handle um, Loki. Cause I'm, I'm assuming it's not going to be like right off the bat. He's just going to be working with the TVA and everything's fine. Hunky door. You know what I'm saying? It's just not going to happen that way. Cause the, how, how Loki is because the way he was, talking and expressing of why he wants to do this and he was born to do this um and this idea and loki brings with the idea of like freedom and how it's all i think a lie or something to that effect and then moby is showing like the clip in avengers where he's talking about um like asking everybody to kneel before him and he's like talking all this stuff and how this is what he truly believes and that you know ruling and all that, like, it's just it was it was a lot. I definitely want to rewatch the episode because there was a, there were some moments that really surprised me in terms of certain things that Loki was saying. But it makes sense to the character because this is not the character we've been following since the Avengers. This is a version of Loki before all the other stuff that he does after the events of the Avengers in 2012. So I think that's a very interesting turn because imagine if this if this was the loki we were following up to his death and somehow he gets out of it and gets displaced and then gets to the tva this would a this would be a very different loki but the fact this is a loki before all of this other stuff is interesting and now he knows all this stuff about what was supposed to happen to him so that's gonna i think create a different version of loki you know what i'm saying because this is not a loki who lived through it this is a loki who has seen his outcome he's seen what's supposed to happen to him he knows what's going to happen to his mother his father and himself so that's interesting he didn't live through it he's just seen it he knows it so i'm curious how that's going to play into the rest of the season so really good episode really good start some good funny moments i'm curious where we go from here i'm really i'm definitely really excited to see what happens next because i think this is a great way to set up the show so anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed my reaction i'm curious to know your thoughts guys about this first episode of loki did, did you like it did you enjoy it did you dislike it did you wish there was more to it i'm curious to know your thoughts whatever thoughts you have but let me know in the comments below guys talk to you guys soon peace out